So today we're going to be talking about what sort of monitor to get for your computer depending on your needs and what sort of resolution you need, size, etc. So starting off here, we're, we're talking about what sort of port you need to connect it to your computer. Obviously this is HDMI, this shape of port here. It won't be in this connector, but it will be on the back of your computer. If you have one of these, you can use the optimum resolution of a HDMI monitor, which is up to full HD, 1080p, which is obviously very good quality. So when it comes down to this, HDMI is the best choice. But if you don't have that on the computer, then VGA is probably what you have, which is a connector that looks like this. Now some monitors feature a DVI, DVI socket, which looks a bit like this, but it just depends, that's not usually in your computer, your computer would normally have just a normal VGA port. Uh, this is a VGA port, This th you can't get the maximum resolution, you can still get 720p, but not true 720p out of this. So it's best to go with a monitor that supports HDMI if your computer has such a port on it. Now I've been going, going through Amazon UK and found a few of the optimum resolution and best monitors for a certain price. Now starting off is this HP 20 inch widescreen flat panel TFT monitor. Now this one features built in speakers and a 1680 by 1050 resolution, 5 milliseconds response time and 1000 to 1 contrast ratio which we'll be talking about later. £145.21 so there's the monitor itself. HP is a very good brand for monitors, they're very crystal clear displays and this one's 20.1 inch but the main thing is looking for now the image brightness, this is quite an important one as well, the higher the better with this necessarily because you can turn it down if you really need to and then um, the contrast ratio is obviously very important as well. The lower the contrast ratio the worse because it's um, not very, it's very important that the contrast ratio is higher to get a more vivid and crystal clear display. 1000 to 1 is not sufficient enough really. The The image on this display will be quite dull because it's not got the, right, the same brightness and contrast that you would on a really crisp display. And VGA signal input which is from the VGA port we showed here. It's looking out for response time which is mainly for gaming. Resolution, this is a very good resolution, 1680 by 1050, uh, 60 Hz, but that's not necessarily the best for HD quality, especially as it's only VGA. 16.2 million colours, the more the better, obviously, for colour supporting games for better graphics. The next monitor is an LG 22 inch widescreen LCD monitor. Now, this is a much better buy, oh, only £155. It, is, it features DVI and full 1080p playback, so it's got a very, very big resolution in glossy black, similar to the the style of the Samsung monitors. It is 20,000 to 1 contrast ratio, so, so the... Um, the crispness of this display will be much more intense than of the HP monitor that we viewed last. Two milliseconds response time, very good for gaming. 1920 by 1080 resolution, which is full HD 1080p resolution, which is what you want to look out for. This one also has special features and um, headphone sockets, stuff like that. Brightness is much higher than that of the last monitor. 16.7 million colours is more. So, and this one features HDMI. I'm not sure whether it has VGA as well. VGA might be important if you don't have HDMI on your computer. You just need to look out whether you have a VGI port on the back of your computer, a DVI white port on the back of your computer, or a HDMI. If you have a HDMI, then you can get the best picture quality possible. So moving on onto, the, onto this is my monitor, the Acer 18.5 inch wide LCD monitor, 16 by 9 full widescreen HD. Even though the HD is definitely not as good as that on a 720p full monitor. 5 milliseconds response time, VGA output and 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio. So the contrast ratio is not as great as that of the LG W2261V 22 inch widescreen. But while the contrast ratio is lower, it's still, it's still rather good, but it would be much better for gaming on the LG monitor because that has a much more clear display which will be good for the 1080p format. Now this is a full widescreen, it's very wide, hard to get used to, but once you're actually in it, it's fine. 5 milliseconds response time, that's kind of the standard for decent TFT displays. 
uh, same brightness, but it's only 1366 by 768 resolution, so it's not actually 720p, and it's only at 75 hertz, which is different because it's got a higher hertz, but that doesn't necessarily make it better. And this is only VGA once again. Um, this monitor has no tilt as well, from experience, it, you can't adjust it very well, and if you do, you break the stand. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this unless you're... It depends on the size. Obviously, size is important depending on... This is quite wide, so 18.5 inch, but it is very wide, so it depends where you're going to fit it onto and what you need it for, because you don't necessarily need a huge monitor. But the, your full HD resolutions are only going to be on 20 inch and upwards, and the 20 inch ones are only BenQ monitors, which I've heard are not the best. So try and avoid those if necessary. And Samsung, this is the one I posted to PC Geek 2K8, which is who this video is made for. Uh, particularly for him because we're we're having a look at what monitors are best for your needs. So this is a 20 inch wide monitor. This is a slightly old one as you can tell because it hasn't got the red strip featured on this one. This one's a slightly older display, but it's 119 pound and it has RGB and DVI so RGB is similar as well, you've got RGB which is basically very similar to VGA um, so that's, that is fine for whatever you need to use that for as long as it's supported, as long as you have an RGB proper pull and that you can get a adapter for it if necessary but apart from that it's got 1 600 by 900 resolution which isn't full HD but it is it is quite good for this. It is um, almost full HD, but it's 5 milliseconds response time, 15,000 to 1 dynamic contrast ratio, and a custom key for one touch access to the picture optimized function most frequently used. So it has got a few extra features as well. So you do want to look out for extra features if you if you do a lot of image editing in Photoshop and stuff like that. Going on is the Samsung monitor. Again, a 19 inch widescreen this time. This one's not as big but it does feature a DVI and VGA port depending on your needs this is one of the newer ones with the rose color at the bottom and the newest stand but I have heard these stands according to the reviews are a lot more wobbly so if you knock your desk too hard the the, um, the screen can wobble around quite a bit but that's going to be with lots of the new ones because the stands are minimalistic also 20,000 to 1 contrast ratio is very good DVI so that that's quite a good buy when you think about it. It's got low power consumption, rose black, 16.7 million colours. But the most important things when looking for your display is if you want a really good resolution, you got to, you've got to have the highest resolution possible and a very high contrast ratio. The higher the contrast ratio, the better. And this isn't necessarily that wonderful. It's about the same as mine, 5 milliseconds response time as well. And move on to this one which is a 23 inch one which is 50,000 to 1 contrast ratio this comes with you can order it with a HDMI cable which fits into one of these sockets and obviously this is a very good buy because it's 50,000 to 1 contrast ratio 2 milliseconds this will be very good for watching blu-ray movies and doing really graphics intensive gaming with its full HD resolution and really high contrast ratio Considering mine is only 10,000 to 1 rather than 50,000 to 1, you'll get a much crisper display on one of these. So HP are very good monitors. They're something to check out. LG are extremely good, but the sizes sometimes may be too big depending on your desk. 22 inch and 23 inch for two of the best ones you can get. Otherwise, you're looking at the older ones. And these ones are similar in design to the newer Samsungs, but these aren't that wonderful. The D they have DVI, which is a slightly older thing. They don't really have HDMI unless you go right up into the sizes, right up until 23 inch and stuff like that. And these ones are slightly older, which are very good. It's very good, like, for your needs. It's just, this one's a much cheaper buy, obviously, than, say, one of these LGs. But I think, all in all, this one, the LG W2261V 22-inch wide LCD monitor with DVI and 1080p, is probably the best out of all of them. It, it the only thing it doesn't support, I don't think it supports HDMI, so it won't be the best. But still, this will be much better quality than any of the other good monitors out there. And you're probably looking looking for a much expensive product, which is 23 inch, which is quite big for 189 if you want 50,000 to 1 full HD with HDMI but it depends if, on what your computer supports it once again you have to have a HDMI port on the back of your computer, a VGA